This video is going to cover downloading drivers for your Konica Minolta Acurio Press. I'm going to start by navigating to the Konica Minolta website. Once that website comes up, I can scroll down just a little bit and under Business Solutions, I've got a download link. When I bring that download link up, on the left hand side I get a quick search. In the quick search, one of the things that you might be tempted to do would be to enter the model number of your press and choose the option that comes up from there. Oftentimes, when I go directly to the model of the press and I select the drivers, when I open up the individual operating systems, I'll find out that there are no print drivers underneath of those sections. In some cases there are drivers, in some cases there are not, and even when there are drivers they may not be the latest drivers as they don't always get updated as frequently at the machine level as they would at the controller level. As a result, what I would prefer to do is actually go to the print controller model and say that I would like to download the drivers for that print controller. When I bring up the print controller site, the drivers show up again and now I've actually got print drivers in here and as you can see I've got quite a list of print drivers that are contained within each one of these different operating system windows. A couple of things to note with that is I've got the different Windows operating systems followed by Apple operating systems and then I've also got a section with Linux drivers so I can actually come in and download drivers for the Linux uh, operating system if I would like to do so. In this case I'm going to go to the Windows 10 64 bit and I'm going to look at a couple of options here. The first driver that's on this list looks like it's the most recent but one of the things to note with that is that if you look at the size of this driver it's a very small file and this says that it is for the IC605 print driver version 3.2. If I look below that, I see that I've got a driver that is much bigger in size, and it says that it is for the PS plug-in driver. The PS plug-in driver is the driver that I would like to download to install because this is going to be the full driver that gives the full interface for your users. So two indications that this is the driver that I want is that it is the larger size, a lot of megabytes in the file, and that it is the PS plug-in driver. If you don't know why you would need just a PPD description file, then you probably aren't looking for the smaller file. So from here, I can, if I want, come down and look at the release notes of that file to kind of figure out if this is the driver that I want. You'll see that it shows it supports Windows operating systems from Windows 7 to Windows 10 as well as server OS's from 2008 to 2019 and multiple languages are supported. So if I were to look at this file and then I come back from Windows 10 and instead I came down and said that I was going to look for a driver for Windows Server 2012, this driver that is listed here is exactly the same driver as the Windows 10 driver that is listed up here. That same file contains the driver for the full line of Windows operating systems. So I can click on this link, the zip file, and actually download that file. It would go to my downloads folder on my computer, and then I could extract that zip file out, and I would have drivers to install for Windows or Mac or Linux as I chose.